today on cook like sasha i'll be showing you guys how to make a delicious colorless stuffed roast fish with some creamy mashed potatoes if you want to see how i did this just keep watching first we will start off by cooking the colorless so to begin i have some seasonings here some onions garlic scallion and hot scotch bonnet pepper so over medium heat you're just going to add that to a pot and allow it to kind of sweat down a little bit and then we're going to add our freshly chopped kalaloo on top you want to ensure that you cover the pot and allow the steam to just penetrate the kalaloo so it can get nice and soft after about five minutes you want to go in and add a little bit of butter and whatever powder seasonings that you like so you can choose to add salt and black pepper but i'm using my special blend of seasonings to give this kalaloo a lot of flavor and then i'm going to continue cooking it until it's done to my liking in the meantime let's season up our fish so i have my fish here already scaled and washed and i'm just drying off all the excess moisture from the fish using a paper towel and then i'm going to apply my special blend of seasonings which consists of a variety of herbs and spices that i like i'm going to add that to the fish season it up well and then we're going to prepare them for the roasting when applying the powdered seasonings to the fish you want to ensure that you get it everywhere and slitting the fish is not necessary for me a lot of people like to slit the fish but you don't have to i normally don't do it but for the big one i'm going to do it you know just for the people out there that like to see it so you're going to apply the fish everywhere you can give it a nice um rubbing if you want or you can just pat it in also you want to ensure that the inside of the fish is seasoned as well because you want the flavor to be everywhere now it's time to put the fish together and get it ready for roasting so what you're going to do is to put down a big enough piece of oil paper that can cover the fish completely and then what you want to do this is essential you want to add some butter on the bottom of the foil paper just a little bit of butter and you're going to spread it out you can use your fingers i'm using a spoon spread it out this is going to ensure that the fish stays nice and moisturized and it's not sticking to the foil paper because fish does have a tendency to stick so you want to ensure that you put down a little bit of butter and spread it around when that is done what i like to do is to add some onions and some scallions to the bottom of the foil paper as well before I add the fish because this is going to help to keep the body of the fish off the, the foil paper what you want to avoid is complete direct contact with the foil paper without anything there to prevent the fish from sticking this is also going to add additional flavor and here you can add whatever you like whatever vegetables you like you can add it sometimes I like to add carrots and um, Irish potatoes to the bottom of the foil paper before i put my fish on top because as i said it's going to prevent the fish from sticking and it's going to keep your fish intact and give it additional flavor as well now that my fish is done on the seasonings it's time to add that delicious colorless stuffing so what i'm going to do before adding it i want to add a little piece of um, scotch bonnet pepper and some thyme inside the fish i love my food spicy and i love the taste of um, hot pepper on fish so i'm going to just add some of the hot pepper inside the fish along with some thyme to give it some additional flavor and then i'm going to stuff the fish with the kalaloo as best as i can
to finish off what I'm going to do is to just add some more butter on top of the fish and some more of that natural seasoning that I have so the onions and the scallion this again is going to keep the fish nice and soft it's not going to dry out. I don't know if you guys ever have roast fish and when you open the file paper the fish just dry this is going to keep the fish nice and moisturized guys <laughs> why may I say fish I'm gonna be moisturized I don't know it's just gonna make it nice and juicy yeah mm -hmm. so when you add all of that on top and as I said what you add is optional it's up to you it's what you like you can add your okra you can add just about anything you like but what you want to do when you're done is to just wrap up the fish you want to wrap it in such a way that you trap as much of the steam as possible that is going to also help to cook the fish um, quicker so just give it a good wrap up for my file paper here I cut it a little bit short so I'm just going to add another little piece on top to ensure that I cover it up well just in case you don't have file paper you can use a baking dish or a baking tray to do your roast fish you just want to ensure that you add enough butter to prevent sticking because it is easier to stick if you're using a baking tray or a baking dish so once you're done um, wrapping up the fish you want to add it to the oven at about 180 degrees celsius not sure what the fahrenheit conversion for that is but you want to add it at about 180 degrees celsius for about 25 minutes and you want to preheat the oven as well guys so don't add it to the cold oven all right preheat the oven add the fish for about 25 minutes it should be done and it's going to be wonderful guys trust me remember to like comment share and subscribe and remember to click that bell icon so you'll never miss another video while our fish is being done let's work on that creamy mashed potato so what you want to do is to peel your potatoes and cut them into small pieces this way they're going to cook much faster in the meantime you want to have a pot of water bring it to a boil and then you're going to add your potatoes and allow them to cook until they are soft and you know easy to mash because this is mashed potatoes in the same breath i'll be prepping some string beans to have on the side so you just want to cut off those hard ends and i'm going to just boil them with the potatoes and remove them when they're cooked you want to add some water to some salt to the water to give the string beans and the potatoes a little bit of flavor when the potatoes are done, you want to strain them out, get them into a container and just start mashing them. You can use a potato masher, but I'm using a fork. Mash it, add a little butter and just keep mashing it until you get that nice smooth consistency or the consistency that you like. I don't mind a few chunks in there, but just mash it until it is nice and smooth. For the creaminess, what we're going to do is to work on a cream sauce for the potatoes. So in a saucepan on low heat, you're going to add a little bit of cream. And then to that, we're going to add a piece of thyme and some smashed garlic. Allow that to simmer on low heat for about one to two minutes. And this is going to create like just the most flavorful mashed potatoes, guys. You can thank me later. So when that is done, add it to the potatoes. Give the potatoes a nice stir and ensure that everything is incorporated. And then to garnish and to add a little bit more flavor, what you can do is to add some herbs on top. I'm using the green part of the scallion. This is going to add a nice flavor, guys. If you have parsley, cilantro, chives, dill, you can add it here. It is going to be so delicious. And this is such a quick and easy meal to prepare, guys. Trust me, it can be done within an hour because while the potatoes, while you were making the potatoes, the fish basically done roast like look at that 
so quick and easy the string beans are done and we are ready to plate just look at the fish guys it is nice and juicy the skin is not dried out everything is intact it's easy to remove from the foil paper it's not sticking down this is what i'm talking about guys this is just the ultimate rose fish and of course you add what you want to add the flavors that you want and this is it we're just ready to plate so i'm putting my string beans on the side of the plate and serving my mashed potatoes with it this is like so good guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comment section below and until next time this is cook like sasha bye guys